How's it going everybody? Estas here. So in this video, we're going to be doing a quick M1 finance portfolio update going over moves I've made recently, how the portfolio has been doing. And I want to update you guys on stocks I own right now. So sit back, relax, and let's get right into the video. And by the way, if you guys didn't know, this is a portfolio I started for you guys about two years ago to show you all how I build portfolios from zero dollars to wherever it gets I mean there's no end goal at this point you guys are watching it um, step by step literally there's 50 episodes on the playlist which you guys can go check out on my YouTube channel so let's talk about what is going on here and the gains on the different time frames stocks I own and so forth so let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it so as of now, on August 1st, 2021, this portfolio is sitting a little bit under $15,700. The all-time gain is $3,300, 3000 being for market gain, and about $280 being from earned dividends. And if we go down the line in terms of the different time frames in the past year, we're up $3,200. The past quarter, we're up about $550. $50 in the past month. We're up $330 in the past week. We're down about $160. And on Friday, the markets didn't do so well. Um, this portfolio, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, went down about $180, down about 1.1%. So you guys can see full transparency. That's how it's been doing over the past, uh, you know, really over the past two years since the inception of the portfolio. And in this account and in my main private account, um, Google's number one. I love Google stock. It's my favorite company, favorite stock to own. And it's not the only stock I own, obviously. But if I had to pick one stock to own for the next 10 years, it would definitely be Google. I think there's a lot of potential there. And I think YouTube, which is what you're watching this video, video on is extremely undervalued still even to this day and I believe they did um, they, they, they just reported earnings re very recently last week and YouTube did a ridiculous amount of ad revenue I think they grew 90% 90 90% year over year. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure if my memory is correct, that is what they did, which is unbelievable. So Google, number one, VOO is number two, which soon will be number one um, because right now this is 12.1% of my portfolio. The target is 25%. So I still have to double this one up in terms of uh, getting it from 12 to 25%. And this is just to have a staple S&P 500 ETF in the portfolio. So eventually, probably in a couple months down the line, as I continue adding money in, adding more to VOO, you know, and the way I do it is, guys, look, VOO, I'm not looking to time it at the bottom or buy it um, at the lowest point or just not buy it when it's at the top. I'm pretty much just buying it every week, week in, week out, averaging in until I get to that 25%. And at that point, it's called dollar cost averaging. I would have built a nice, uh, a nice smoothed out cost basis. So over the next couple months, I want to get this to the top of the portfolio, have it be the staple. And then under that, we're going to have Google, Tesla, we have Tesla. Um, this is at 650 average cost. Right now we're at about 680. And Google in this account, I think it's at like 16 or no, it's at 1900 average cost. I think I own it at 1600 in a different account. Um, but yeah, 1900 average cost on Google. You guys can see that right here. Now we're sitting at $2,700 in terms of one share of Google. So that is a pretty nice game unrealized gain at that. And then we have Alibaba under Tesla. This is one that I've been adding to in many accounts. And now it's up to the fourth largest position in this portfolio. My average cost on Baba is 202 in this account. Now it's sitting at about 
195. I have about 5.2 shares in this account, and I'll show you guys the buys that went through in a little bit in a couple minutes. I'm going to show you all my trading activity. So, yeah, Alibaba followed by Johnson & Johnson, Disney, MasterCard, Amazon. These have been here. Nothing much has changed. And I got some questions. Stas, are you buying the Amazon dip? No, I'm not really. I'm not looking to do that um, because look, in this account, my Amazon average cost is 2,900. I believe I own it in other accounts at 2,500, 2,600. So I'm not looking to average down on Amazon unless it gets under 3,000. If it gets under 3,000 and under my average cost in this account of 2,960 then I'll average more. But until then, I'm sitting tight. No need for me to put more money into Amazon, especially because it's already near the uh, target for this portfolio. And you'll notice all of these stocks, they're supposed to be about five to four, four, five, six percent of my portfolio other than Google and VOO, right? All of them. And you guys can see that to the right here. Um, if you look where my mouse is, I don't even think you can see my mouse. But yeah, that is the uh, average uh, target of the portfolio um, or for the individual slices within the pie, right? And under Amazon, I have Barrett Gold. I have PayPal, which took a big hit. And no, I'm not adding more into PayPal either. This one took a hit. Last week, they reported earnings. They were at 300 bucks, went all the way down to 275 <clears throat> And my average cost on PayPal on this account is 190 So I'm not averaging down when it's at 275 If it gets down to 200 under 200 then I'll probably start adding more. But as of now, I'm sitting tight. I like my cost basis, and we're going to keep it pushing, guys. Under PayPal, we have Starbucks. Microsoft, um, GDX, which is another gold-oriented ETF. A bunch of gold miner stocks are within GDX. And look, we have Exxon, Pepsi, and XLE as my bottom three. XLE is an energy ETF. Pepsi, you obviously know Pepsi, the drinks, the snacks, all that good stuff. And to me, guys, and I don't know, you can probably disagree. You might disagree, but for me... I like having a well-balanced, diversified portfolio. And to me, this is very, very diversified. I have inflation hedges in this. I have tech stocks. I have dividend stocks. I have boring consumer staples. I have energy. I have gold. You know, it's just everywhere. And that's the way I like to build portfolios. You know, I have Chinese in terms of um, Chinese stock, Alibaba. People say that's risky. I don't think, I mean, yes, it's definitely risky, but I don't think these stocks are going to just get wiped out, get delisted. I could be wrong, but hey, it's a risk I'm willing to take. And for me, and you guys can disagree in the comments, this is a pretty balanced portfolio. I like it, and that's what I'm rolling with right now. And in terms of my trades that I've been making, like promise, guys, I'm going to show you all the trading tab. This is what I've been buying. <clears throat> you guys can see right here. No selling, just straight up buying. And I think I covered this in the last video when I was in Hawaii. I made another M1 Finance video in Hawaii about two weeks ago. Um, you can see this is when I started buying Alibaba, more Alibaba. I bought 400 bucks worth at 208 here. Um, I bought uh, $125 of VOO at 401. Bought about um, 150 bucks of XLE. And I trimmed off the top of some of these positions. And call me a market timer, a wizard, which I'm not. But hey, in this case, I timed it pretty well. I trimmed about 200 bucks of Amazon of 3,700. Now it's at 3,300, like you guys saw. It dumped. I trimmed 150 bucks of Mastercard, 100, <clears throat> 140 of uh, Microsoft, 150 of Tesla, and you guys can see these are all trims. I didn't necessarily sell out of all the position. Um, I just trimmed them off there, added some of that money into Alibaba, and I think I bought some more stocks with that. 
uh, money down the line here. I bought 50 bucks this day of XLE, $118. I bought 68 of XLE, um, 50 bucks of VOO. And you can see there's little chunks here and there. And then on the 19th and the 27th of July, I bought about... Um, 850 bucks of stocks. Uh, you can see on this 20 or this is the 19th. I bought 150 bucks of Alibaba at 204. I bought um, 100 bucks of XLE at 4683. I bought 200 bucks of VOO at 391. That was during the dip there. And then on the 27th, I bought more VOO at 403.80. I bought more GDX at a hundred dollars worth of GDX at 33.41, and I bought about let's see here, two hundred dollars of Alibaba in the 180s. That is when it uh, dumped to the mid 180s. So overall, guys, that's what I've been doing as of late, and I'm gonna keep on buying stocks. I mean, look, I haven't withdrawn a single dollar out of this account. I'm not taking this money and going out and playing with it. No, all of this money is staying in here. It's getting compounded, compound interest, and I'm going to keep on adding more money and buying stocks, guys. So that's it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and guess what? M1 Finance is running a crazy promotion right now. It's limited time. If you guys want to sign up with this brokerage, it's great. I've been with them for two plus years at this point. It's only gotten better. Check out my link down below. You get $50 free to invest with. Well, technically it's not free, but if you deposit $100, you get the 50 bucks. You don't like M1 Finance? You can take all your money. So essentially, it is free, uh, but you do have to deposit $100 using my link. And I also get 50 bucks to invest with as well since it is an affiliate link. So check that link down below. It's greatly appreciated if you guys do use that and get your free 50 bucks. And check out my Patreon if you want. Now that it's the first of the month, this is the best time to sign up for the Patreon for all my real-time moves, buys, sells, call-outs, not only in this account, but all my accounts. And you get a morning update video if you sign up to the top tier. And that is every single trading day. I put a morning update video up for you all. So check all those out down below, the Patreon the free 50 bucks. I'll catch you all in the video later today. Yep, there will be a video later today. We're going crazy today, guys. Two a day on Sunday. Let's go. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.